My name is Perry and you're watching Ocean Capable Small Sailboat. This is a scow bow mini cruiser sailboat I'm building. Basically my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14 foot sailboat that's watertight and custom built to cross oceans. It features a cabin I can sleep in and even operate the boat from while staying dry and out of the elements. She'll sail anywhere the larger boats can, but at a fraction of the operating, storage, and maintenance costs. Please subscribe and follow along as I work toward launching her. Hey everybody, today is Friday, December 30th, 2022 in San Diego, California. And for you guys, it's 2023, so Happy New Year to you guys. I need to start off today by moving the boat over to this side of the garage so that I can attach the port chine panel. Now luckily, I was clever enough to build this boat out of PVC foam core, so it only weighs in at 4 pounds per square foot as opposed to marine plywood, which would have been 37 pounds per square foot. So I can actually move the boat across the shop by myself still. Okay, let's get to work. got the port chine panel dry fit in place just with some wood supports you can see it over this way get an idea of all the space inside the boat with both chine panels on you'd think it was really wide but it's only six feet wide Now you can better see the supports for the panel and the three battens that rest up against it to snug it into place. I've got it on this makeshift table and now I just gotta add strips of 1708, just about this wide, that'll go under each frame. Then I'll slide it into position. Now the three inch wide strips are on and I've wedged this panel in place tightly. Next we got to do all the work of fiberglassing all these surfaces onto the frames but that'll be another day. Okay it's another day now and it's my lunch break so I just popped down to do the fillets on this section from C3 to C4 and over the oak keel beams. Then once that cures up a bit after work I can come back and and do all the fiberglassing over those fillets. It's around 170 days till summer and it's kind of a soft goal of mine to have this in the in the water by summer. A previous soft goal of mine was to have it in by Christmas but obviously that didn't work out. It's just everything takes a lot longer than expected. This is you know each panel is so much surface area and you got to prepare all the fiberglass and the, uh, the peel ply and the surfaces itself by cleaning and vacuuming and just everything takes much longer than you think it will. But that's okay. I know I get some comments that I'm going too slow, but I'm just not really in a rush. I, I have full-time job and kids and everything else in life that takes up time. I'm, I'm not retired, you know? So to me, there's really no rush. I just want to try and do a quality job and I'm kind of enjoying recording it. If I go on some great adventure after this, I think it's really cool to be able to say to someone, well, if you wanna see even how the boat was built, there's a record of that every one or two weeks. You know, I did a video of the build process and you can go back and see all that if you're, if you're interested. Yep, but time to get going on these fillets. I'm not gonna to show too much of this in the video because it's already been done on the starboard chine panel. So if you want to check that out, just go check out OCSS episodes 41 and 40. And I did some pretty detailed videos on it for the starboard side. This is the same thing and just a mirror copy. 
Okay, fiberglassing's all done, and I got the peel ply on. Well, I just need to do that about four more times, and this panel will be totally on. If my voice sounds a little funny, I seem to have picked up a cold, and uh, leaning over, it really made my nose running. I had to keep blowing my nose while doing this. Very annoying. So, hopefully I get some good rest tonight, and... I'll be uh, more recovered tomorrow and get some more work done. A big thank you to anyone who supported the project up till now, especially my Patreon members. If you want to join Patreon, there's some perks that come with that, and you can contribute to the project through PayPal or buying something off the Amazon wish list. All that is down in the description. Okay, guys, I will see you next time. Well, now let's make all preparations for getting underway. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, get back to your station or I'll have you shot from this Well, shoot yourself!